following in his family's footsteps. He joined as a St John cadet in 1993, becoming an officer, then a paramedic. His current role means he manages all operation aspects of the ambulance service within the Waitakere Territory. For our inspirational guest of the week, please welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Andy Everest. Yes! Good, good to have you here, Andy. Thanks. Good morning. Thanks um, for having me. So what was your family involvement that got you into it? Uh, well, my dad did 15 years service. Um, my mum is currently, she's done about 47 years. And uh, my grandma's about 30 years. So Wow. So yeah, why the interest? The pretty high. So why the interest with your family with St John? Um, I guess it's just that whole Kiwi culture about getting stuck into your community and volunteering. And, and that, was, that was what they chose. And... I followed suit. And you've yeah. taken it one step further because you actually made it your career, didn't you? I have. You? Was, yes. that, was it something you wanted to do the whole time? Um, no, but it, it just later in life it, I decided that I wanted to be a, a paramedic and, and do it for a career and it's a fantastic career. St John's a great organisation and there's lots of different avenues that you can you can go into. Now mm. I've spotted something on your shirt. Is that a earthquake um, badge that you've got there? It was, that, yeah, that's yeah. the citation. for. So what did you do there? Oh. Uh, I was in one of the first waves that went down from Auckland for staff that went down for the big earthquake and, Gosh. and helped out down there. How do you deal with something like that? Because emotionally that must be quite traumatic for you. Yeah, it is. We, uh, we stick together as a group and, and get in there and get stuck in as a team and, and we're all there to help and we all really enjoy chaos. So, <laughs> so it works quite well. It so does. what other sort of things have you experienced as a, on the front line as a paramedic? Oh, we, you know, we experience everything. You know, everyone comes up and, and thinks, you know, you see the worst things of, of life every day and you, see, and you do see a little bit of that. Um, but it's a, it's a fantastic job. It's a really unique experience to walk into the worst moment in someone's life and have the opportunity to turn that around and, and add a, a little bit of sunshine to it. So. And you do have lasting impact on the people that you're dealing with too. They will remember you. Yeah, they do. Mm. What have been one of the um, most memorable moments that you've had being an AMBO officer? The, the big things that stick out are, are cardiac arrests in the community. And, you know, we do St John First Aid courses and, and seeing people, we turn up to a cardiac arrest and there's people that have done a St John First Aid course that, are, that have had the courage to get stuck in and start doing CPR. And, you know, when we get someone back and we successfully resuscitate somebody, They've been involved in that, and, and they can take that away and go, hey, we've, we've helped save somebody's life. Gosh, that's an incredible feeling. So you've seen firsthand that these first aid courses really work. Can Absolutely. anyone actually do them? Yes, they can. And we start from a very young age. Um, we have the ASB St John in schools. We have the St John Youth Programme, and uh, yeah, right up to workplace first aid courses. So. Mm. What do you think makes St John so critical in our community? We're involved in, in so many different aspects of the community. There's the ambulance that, that everyone sees and, and everyone knows. We have our friends of the emergency department, which are volunteers in the emergency departments helping out there. We have our St John Youth Programme. We have our caring callers, our medical alarms. Yeah, there's so many different aspects and we're always there to, to help out. Now, this is something I wanted to ask. As an AMBO officer, you know, you're on the front line. If you were the Prime Minister for a day, given the things that you see, <laughs> what is something that you would change? Funding? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. There, yeah. there is always that. Right. And, and that's what we're trying to do with, with the annual appeal week, um, is just get some, some more vehicles out on the road. The, the big thing we're fundraising for is some, uh, some emergency command units. Mm. So that'll help us run our larger scale events. So w with what you do, you, you obviously see a lot of different things. What would you say would be your most joyous moment during the thing? Because obviously you're not just seeing death and destruction, you're also seeing a lot of positive things as well. Oh yeah, we do see, just, um, is, just seeing that positive impact you made. It doesn't matter what the situation is, just seeing that someone say, you know, thank you, or, you know, I feel so much better. We've done our job. Yeah, do you yeah. get counselling for things that you go through as well? Like, if you are in a traumatic situation, does somebody come and help yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. We have lots of different avenues and a very robust system within the organisation yeah. to help our staff out. That'd be really good. OK, so shortfall in funding, because it is a charity, isn't it? It is. Yes, so obviously we need to help give some money, and people can sign up for first aid courses as well. But with this annual appeal week at the moment, how can people get involved with that? Heart yeah. of Gold. Yep, Heart of Gold. Uh, you can jump onto heartofgold.org.nz or any ASB branch.
people can donate that way. And there'll be people around the street too that you can offer money to too, wearing, I guess, one of these little badges? They are, yeah. That little heart of gold. Yeah. Nice work. Well, hey, I just wanted to say thank you, because I think what you guys do is incredible, and thank you yeah. for coming and sharing your story. Yeah. I hope Thanks everybody gives us. very generously, OK? Make sure you do for all the fantastic work that St John does for the community.